Hi, welcome. Today I'm going to do a two extraordinary champagne cocktails. Actually, for me, are the most iconic champagne cocktails. One which is a, the classic champagne cocktail, which is done with cognac, sugar and Angostura bitter. And the other one is a French 75, which is done with gin, fresh lemon juice and a simple syrup. Now, those two drinks are quite different from each other. One is earthy, it is, it's got the hint of sweetness and bitterness, and the other one is dry, fresh, uh, from, from the lemon juice. Now, this champagne cocktail needs a star, right? And I'm a true believer that if I do some of the best cocktails that there is, I need the best canvas. And with that, I choose one of my favorite new champagne that is called Fraise and Frais, okay? Um, it's done, this champagne is done with uh, Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. It has, um, I can't wait to taste it, so I can give you some tasting note. So I might as well open. It would be rude of me not to try. Well, straight away, I find that quite almost the, the Chardonnay comes alive very quickly. It has a hint of floral note, maybe blossom. Certainly a bit of an acidity, but not from apple. Yeah, apple. And nutty flavor, nutty aroma. Hmm. Mmm, when the palate is fragrant, it's fresh, it's chalky, it's mineral. Wow, the acidity, that there's an into acidity which really comes through. Wow, and then on the end, I find a little bit of fruity note. Great aftertaste and the perfect acidity and the great bubble, very small, tiny, which reflects an age champagne this is actually aged between five to eight years old and for non-vintage is a long time when normally is age you know champagne non-vintage uh, crew is normally aged between two to three years really great structure great grassy color mm, well now let me make this champagne cocktail for you first normally you put lump of sugar and then uh, which is soaked with Angostura bitter. But I don't have that, I am at home after all. So it's a teaspoon of sugar, of caster sugar, or a few drops of Angostura bitter. That gives you the bitterness, which is combined with the earthness of the cognac. For me, the noble spirits, I love cognac. This is about 20 milliliter of cognac. Okay, which gives us the earthness and the richness. Now we need to use the the spark of life. Okay, the dry essence of the of this wonderful champagne. By the way, this champagne cocktail goes as far back as the late eighteen hundred. So truly, it's gone through bars from from all over the world. Wow, look at the bubbly, the essence. Good things takes time. Wow. Et voila. You usually can garnish that with a slice of a wedge of, um, of orange, if you prefer. But don't bother. Just like this. Let me taste it. Just quality control. Again, it's earthy. It's, it's got bitter hint of note of bitterness. Sweet. And then it comes this freshness of the champagne. 
Now, next is going to be the French 75. Fantastic drink. Very fresh, very citrus. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put ice in the shaker. Give it up. And we're going to make the drink. Again, very simple, three ingredients. But a little bit of 20, 15 milliliter, 15 to 20 milliliter of lemon juice. Depends how citrus you want. I'll do 20, 20 milliliter lemon juice because I love that citrus, that freshness. So 20 milliliter of fresh lemon juice. Then about 15 milliliter of uh, simple syrup. This is one to one. One part of water, one part of sugar. And the sugar, what it does, it makes it it glues the drinks together, it bonds the drinks together. I'll, I'll part, gives a little hint of, hint of sweetness. And now the dry essence of the, shun, of the gin, about 20, 25 milliliter, I'll go for 25 milliliter. 